All right, uh, sometimes it's a challenge as busy parents to find time to make good meals for families, but we do have some help. Busy mom herself, Marie Feebach, right here with some uh, uh, advice for parents like myself, Krista. I'll tell you what, just making dinner and getting it on the table is an accomplishment. I cannot even <laughs> imagine that. That'll be my someday, but right now, I mean, th this looks good to me, and this, this would be a good option even for me because I see a lot of the ingredients I already have in my fridge. Well, I love that. Well, that's just it. In November, the food world is always talking about Thanksgiving, but they forget that you've got to feed your family Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday mm -hmm. night as well. And so I have something that is really good and easy for the week of Thanksgiving dinner, a quick and easy weeknight family dinner. And it centers around potatoes, which most people have a bag of potatoes at their house sure. before Thanksgiving anyway. Yeah. So this is my cheeseburger baked potatoes. And I'm going to kind of teach you how we prep the potatoes first, because that's the most important part. The big thing is you just want to poke a bunch of holes. And you can do this with a fork or a knife, but get at least 10 or 12 holes in there, because if you don't, the steam will build up on the inside and your potato will explode and your <laughs> oven will be a hot mess. And there's two... Literally. <laughs> hot mess, literally. There are two schools of thought on potatoes. Some people like crispy skin, and some people like soft skin. If you like your skin soft, take your potato and wrap it in some foil, and that's gonna keep the skin soft on the potato as it bakes. If you're someone who likes crispy skin, you can put it straight into the oven on the rack, and that cool. crisps the skin. Notice I have one regular potato and one sweet potato. And so this can be done with whichever your family prefers. And in my house, we do a little bit of both. So I'm gonna throw those in the oven at 450 degrees, and they bake for 30 minutes at 450. The next part is the meat mixture. It's just ground beef and onions. And my little trick for parents is, if your kids revolt about pieces of onions, Take your stick blender and put it in your smoothie cup and puree them. And then they can taste them, but they don't get the texture. Oh, yeah, good call. I love that. So what I have here is beef that's already been browned, and I've already mixed in my onions. And as the pan gets a little bit dry, to make this a little saucy, you can add just a little bit of water to it, and it will um, kind of make it a little bit saucier. And you want to add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper to it. And then all you do is top a potato. So I have potatoes here ready to go. And I get to cut some green onion. Yes. If you can chop that green onion, that's kind of the last little piece. Again, I'm going to, excuse me, grab okay. this little knife and slice it down the middle. And then what we do is we just top the potatoes with a little bit of this meat mixture. And again, the meat mixture with the onion kind of tastes like a White Castle or a Cozy oh, Inn yes. burger because it's got that um, onion flavor that's all mixed in. And then I like to top mine with pickles and cheddar cheese and mustard. Now my kids... Like a cheeseburger. It's just like a cheeseburger. My kids do not like the pickles or the mustard. So this is about making it what works for your family. But I like a little bit of mustard on mine because it tastes like a cheeseburger. And I just drizzle that over the top. Oh my word. And then Shane's chopped up some nice diced green onions. Yeah, do you like it from the... From the leafy side or from the stem side? Oh, I'm side? all about the leafy side. Okay, I'm all about the leafy too. side. All right, and then I, can I just... Yeah, just sprinkle it all on all top. Right. Give it a little crowning glory of some garnish. I think a little bit of color makes everything look better. Oh, yeah, yeah. that looks great. Oh, I got to get that one, too. Look at that. Oh, perfect. See, you're a chef. You're a chef, Shane. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That is what you're going to be cooking for your family, Shane. All right. So this recipe is available in my cookbook, which you can get at FeedYourFamilyTonight.com. It's also available locally at Watermark Books and Cafe. Okay, and what's cool about it is it's a, it's a system. It's not just a, a, a cookbook. There's a system to map out by days of the week and by segments of the day to where you're going to be a well-oiled machine uh, by the end of the week. And, and you can look back on the week and say, I fed my family uh, to be about the most efficient as I possibly could. So very well done, Marie. Thank you very much. And again, that website? FeedYourFamilyTonight.com. Oh, All right. Perfect. This Go smells so nice. <laughs> Love it. Thank you, Marie. We'll be right back.